you know, like you said, or like we all know, debates don't win elections, but it is so important to hear their voices. I saw you cracking up when I was talking about Oshomoli, but we've seen him in the campaigns, campaigning heavily for Monday, which is, I mean, we've, we've talked about this, even during the presidential election, we really, really wanted to hear from mm -hmm. All of those that are contesting. But before you come, I'd like to put all these stories together so you can tie everything all together. In the meantime, the Edo State government on Tuesday raised the alarm over the arrest of the leaders of the People's Democratic Party. The State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation claimed that the arrest was the handiwork of the All Progressives Congress, adding that over 10 PDP leaders, including the chairman of Eastern West Local Government Area, Collins Ibogon, we're being kept in dungeons on the orders of the APC. Well, in the video that has now gone viral, the police were seen trying to forcefully arrest the PDP leader in Ikoba Oka, local government area of the state. Let's take a look. The people not there yet. They don't go. They don't do anything. That man should find that woman. Her histronics saved the day. It sounds funny, but it is not. Mm. What were they doing? I thought it was important to highlight that video for the Inspector General of the Police to find out what exactly was going on there. They say he's a PDP chieftain. What was the arrest? Why did they stop? Plus, many other PDP yeah. chieftains that have been picked up. Yes, those things. about Asriel 10, Godalo they said. talked about this yes. when he came. And that's why this race is looking as skewed. Part of the merits of Okwebola we're talking about was mm. federal might and all of that. Please, we want the Edo people might only. Mm -hmm. God bless that woman. Yes. Please, when he survives that, eh, that woman is his guardian angel. Yes. You know, people like that just come out of the crowd and they just speak for you. I'll never forget a day. Somebody hit me for the back and had an accident. I was about to let the guy go. But the woman came and said, please, enforce on your rights. He did X, Y, Z. Don't let him go. God bless that woman. But very sad, the kind of elections. But as regards people that say debate don't move the needle, I disagree. I disagree. Mm -hmm. If the bay don't move the needle, why is Okwebolo not there? Mm -hmm. Why are these saying you want to send there or Shomole? <laughs> it's because it moves the needle because you know when you get embarrassed on the debate floor, it will take people against you. So debate matter. It matters a whole lot. It matters lot. a whole lot. Whole and let me give you two instances. Number one instance is 1993. MK Abiola, Baba, and Bashir Tofa. After the debate, a lot of Nigerians knew where they were going. That famous debate where Bashir Tofa was asked a question, I think it was on petrol price, pump price of petrol. He couldn't give a convincing answer. That debate killed it for Bashir Tofa. In America also, Michael Dukakis was doing very well in 88, mm -hmm. in the polls. He was asked a question, I think it was by CNN journalist, Ben Shaw, that if Kitty Dukakis, his wife, you know, was facing it in a, in a crazy scenario, it was about, you know, gun security and all of that, if, and it was about death penalty, I remember, that if his wife was raped, will he enforce that death penalty? And he gave a very, very emotionless answer. That Lost was me. the beginning yeah. of Dukaki. Yeah. See, Dukaki's failed so much in that election that Michael Dukaki's 1988 run of the Democratic Party has become a standard for failure. They call it the Dukaki's failure. Mm -hmm. So please, let's not deceive ourselves. Debates matter. And people that don't debate will never run your country well. Yeah. We saw instances when we were calling President Nubutu, at least maybe all of this is ideas, is China that's not working. Mm -hmm. Maybe if he had debated them, we will not be where we are today. Yeah, I mean, I actually So debates liked, matter. Yes. If it doesn't matter, they will not run away from it. Yes, I actually liked as, uh, Akwata's point there where he said that, you know, um, it's an outright disregard, disrespect for the people of Edo State if you cannot come out and address them in public so the public can actually question 
question you. I know you guys all discussed this, um, you know, candidates, the three running mates, as we saw um, on the headline of this day newspaper. So I'll just move on to this. You know, Igo Dalu has jumped on the collab challenge on the video posted on the PDP governorship candidate's ex account. Igo Dalu's friends, including his wife, were seen introducing themselves. Let's take a look. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate's partner in business. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate's older sister. I am not the candidate, I'm the candidate's guy. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate cousin. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate's best friend. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate's rat. I'm not the candidate, I'm the candidate's sweetie. Huh? <laughs> I'm not the candidate, but I'm the candidate's wife. Yay! I am the candidate. Fantastic. Good optics for us, where you go, Dalo. May the best candidate win. It's over the weekend. I mean, this weekend. A quick sentence from you, Dr. Abati, before I take this uh, story here. Well, I mean, a very, uh, very entertaining uh, collabo challenge, yes. uh, which I found interesting. His sister, mm -hmm. his wife. Yes. Uh, one lady called herself his sweetie. sweetie. <laughs> I, I said, well. But immediately after the sweetie, the yes. wife came. You know, then the nephew, the brother, you know, Pastor yes. Itwai Gudalo. They were there, and then he came there, and he said, well, you know, I'm the candidate, and this is uh, in your own uh, interest. But I think what is important in Edo State, all the campaigns would end, I think, by the, today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. or something. Yes. Then the voice of the people should be allowed to count. Mm -hmm. The people should be the ones to choose their government. Absolutely. Not federal might. Otherwise, what you are likely to have will be a long litigation process. The second thing is that the security agencies, 43,000 of them, 35,000 policemen, plus 8,000 other security agents should ensure that this security and that the process is peaceful. Yes. And the political gladiators who are going to this race, you know, with a lot of bitterness, you know, also have a duty and a responsibility to conduct themselves after the fashion of sportsmen and women Absolutely. and make sure that peace reigns in Edo State on Saturday. We don't want to come back here and be doing analysis of ballot snatching yeah. or, or, you know, violence or people killing themselves. Yes. No, it's not worth it. Absolutely. The important thing is moving a good state forward. Well said, Doctor.